OK, awesome. Um, <clears throat> so I just want to go through this problem real quick for you. I hope you're doing all right. It says 3 less than the quotient of 6 and the number y. So automatically, you know, when we're reading through these types of problems, it says 3 less than something, right? So whenever I just hear 3 less, I know that I'm going to have to subtract 3. So automatically, before I even write anything else, I'm just going to write, I want to use a different color to this. I want to use, and of course, I use one that doesn't work. Let's try red. Minus 3. Right? It says 3 less than something. So if I have something and you have 3 less, you're going to take whatever I have and subtract 3. So I have 3 less than, so I'm going to be subtracting 3 from what? It says the quotient of 6 and a number y. Well, you need to remember when we talked about quotient, right? Difference was for subtraction, product was for multiplication, and sum was for addition. So quotient means division. So I'm going to write the quotient of 6 and a number. So that means 6 divided by a number y. Now, in mathematics, this might be OK. Um, but for the rest of this course, I want you to get used to writing your, frac writing your division as a fraction. Because 6 divided by y can also be rewritten like this. 6 divided by y minus 3. And it's just helpful, even though these are both mathematically correct, we're going to prefer using it this method so we can apply our uh, algebraic properties. So 3 less than, an, than the quotient of 6 and a number y can be represented easily just like that. All right, good luck.